Welcome to the Effortless English Show with the world's number one English teacher, AJ Hoag, where AJ's more than 40 million students worldwide finally learn English once and for all without the boring textbooks, classrooms, and grammar drills. Here's AJ with a quick piece to help you learn to speak fluent English effortlessly. I'm AJ Hoag, the author of Effortless English, Learn to Speak English Like a Native, father of the Effortless English system. I train you, I teach you. To speak English fluently, powerfully, confidently, effortlessly when you join my VIP program and you commit to my VIP program at EffortlessEnglishClub.com. EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Go to that website, join, commit. EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Of course, VIP members, you're getting those movie lessons. We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> Everything goes more slowly than you expect, but it's coming. Talking to you from Japan today, Osaka, Japan. Today, I'm going to talk about interviews. Now, I'm getting back on my schedule again, so I would like to do more interviews. I have a few ideas. I will share my ideas, people I want to interview. And then I maybe get some suggestions from you of people to interview. And I'm going to make a list. I've actually got it on my computer now. So as you give me <laughs> your suggestions, I will type them. I'll put them on my in a file. So I'll have a big list of people to try to contact. Now, there's no guarantee. There are no guarantees. Sometimes I contact someone. I ask them to interview, but they don't, they say no, or they ignore me. Usually they just ignore me. No one says no, but they just ignore me. Uh, that happens. Right? I tried to, Cole Robinson, snake diet, I've contacted him a few times. He just ignored me. So probably I'm not interviewing Cole Robinson. I would love to. I'm a big fan of his, but oh well. So we move on. I have some other ideas of people. We have some people are confirmed already. They said yes. And other people I will contact. And I'll get your ideas. The other thing I'll do today is I'll answer some questions on social media, Gab. I like to promote that social media channel for us. That's our main social media now. Gab.com. All right. Oh, and finally, today I am meeting Steve Kaufman from Link and his son, Mark Kaufman. They are here in Osaka. I think they go home tomorrow, maybe. We're having dinner tonight. So I don't know if we'll do a video, actually. I'm not sure if we'll do any kind of little short video. Maybe. But if not, I will be interviewing Steve soon. When he goes back to Vancouver, we can certainly do an interview uh, online. In some ways, it's e it's better because the sound quality, everything's a little better, actually. <laughs> But anyway, I will interview Steve Kaufman. If you don't know him, he speaks, or at least he knows. He says he knows 20 languages. Uh, I think he says he can speak 10 or 12, something like that. Like immediately, anytime, he can speak those languages. And then the other languages, the other eight or nine languages, he needs you know, a little time to refresh, and then he can speak. Kind of like my Spanish. <laughs> All right. So anyway. Let's uh, let's get into our, our main topic first, interviewing. So here, I've got some ideas. I'm going to read them from my, my list here. First of all, upcoming interviews. People who said yes already, confirmed. So there's Steve Kaufman from Link, I just mentioned. Number two, Oscar Peyus from Unlimited Spanish. He also said yes, just need to schedule. Oscar's a great guy. Oscar is a very good English speaker, and he's an excellent Spanish, speaker, uh, Spanish teacher. Now, kind of the, who do I want to interview? Really anybody who has interesting ideas, interesting ideas about anything in life, really, especially the topics we talk about, success and health and family and truth and all of these ideas. So I'm happy to interview lots of different people. The main thing is they need to have understandable English. That's the key thing. Uh, so... They do not have to be native speakers, right? Like Oscar's not a native speaker, but he learned English with Effortless English, and he speaks very well 
His accent is very clear, very understandable. He's an excellent English speaker. I interviewed uh, Anthony Arvanatakis, the guy about, you know, homemade muscle, um, bodybuilding, you know, home, uh, working, work, home workouts. He uh, is also not a native speaker. He's Greek. But again, an excellent English speaker. Easy to understand him. So that's the key thing, right? Because this channel, this show is for English learners. And to learn, you must understand. So we need guests who have clear, understandable English. I don't care if it's perfect. They can make grammar mistakes. I don't care. But we have to understand them. So uh, really, pronunciation is more important than grammar in this case. So, you know, uh, if, if you know somebody but their English is not good, it's hard to understand them, then please don't suggest them. It's not they're bad. It's just that they're not good for our purpose, right, for our channel. But there are a lot of people, they can be native speakers, of course, that's the best if they are British or American or Canadian or Australian or New Zealand, you know, New Zealanders. That's the best. Native speakers are the first choice. But I'm, I'm okay with non-native speakers as long as their English is very clear. All right, so let's get in. Uh, so I'll, let me read the list of people I, I have on my list. I have three people I want to interview that I plan to contact. So number one, Tim Larkin. Tim Larkin is an expert on self-defense fighting hand-to-hand, -hand, you know. I have done two of his self-defense seminars, trainings. Really good. It's Tim Larkin. Another guy who does anti-bullying for kids, but also adult self-defense, Bill Kipp. I also have done his training. So I've done both of those guys. They're both, they have a little bit different approach, but they're both excellent. And then the third person on my list for interviews is Jim Quick. Some of you has, have suggested him. I've watched some of his videos. He's not, he's good. He focuses on memory and learning. Jim Quick, you might know his YouTube videos. I would like to talk to him about memory, especially like memorizing and remembering vocabulary, things like that. So those are the three people on my list that I want to contact. So let's get your suggestions. If you have suggestions, people you think I should interview that are interesting, that are that I, I might check out, then let me know. And we're live on YouTube. Lena, I see your comment and I understand. And we will I will answer your question. OK, just just give me a minute. Lena or Lena, a salon. Lots of people just saying hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you all. Nasser, nice seeing you. Ibrahim Ali, always good to see you. Uh, Siracha, also great seeing you. Bufendra, lots of our regulars. I love seeing you guys. Very nice. <laughs> Lady says, nice shirt. I'm wearing a Japan national team soccer shirt today. Maybe you should interview for Steve. I will. Bufendra says, yeah, so I will. I plan to interview Steve for, uh, we'll talk today. I'll talk to him today about the schedule for his interview. But I would, I'll definitely be interviewing Steve. Steve's one of the people I, uh, like a regular guest, I'd like to have on because he has a lot of ideas, so much experience with language learning. He's a good one to talk to, you know, many times. One interview is not enough. All right, so if you have ideas or suggestions for people to interview, please put them in the comments. While we wait for that, I'm going to look on our Gab group and our Gab channel, and I'm going to answer a few questions here from our social media. Gab.com, G-A-B.com. That is now my, it's really my only social media that I do actively. I mean, I have a Twitter account, but I mostly ignore it now. I have a Facebook account. I really ignore that one. Gab is where you can ask me questions and you can meet other Effortless English members. Really, Gab is the only active social media now for us. Gab.com, Gab.com. Follow me. My account there is my name, AJ Hogue. Same as my YouTube, A-J-H-O-G-E. Okay, so we have a few comments. 
First, I want to go with this one. R H S five says, if you want to study Spanish and Japanese, search in Google videos. Quiero aprender japonés, and you learn Japanese with explanations in Spanish. It's a really good idea. That's a very good idea. Thank you. Quiero is I want aprender to learn, and japonés is Spanish is a uh, Japanese in Spanish. So I want to learn Spanish. I mean, ugh, I want to learn Japanese. It's a great idea. Thank you. You can do that, right? So you all can certainly do this. If you want to learn another language, if you want to learn, uh, let's say, Spanish. Well, you can learn it in English, right? You all know English well enough, good enough. So you could, for example, you could use unlimited Spanish, Oscar's lessons. And the translations, the explanations are all in English. So you're getting some English also, and you're learning the new language of Spanish, right? Instead of learning it, the translations from your language, you learn it from English. And so you're kind of getting both. It's not a bad idea when you have one language like English that's more advanced, that's a lot more advanced. It's a very good idea. I'm, I didn't think to try this, but maybe I'll try this. I'll try to learn some Japanese, but using Spanish translations. It's an interesting idea. All right, now here we have some. Uh, I'm going to go back really quickly to our interviews because uh, Ibrahim Ali has two very good suggestions, and I'm going to add them to my list because sometimes I have a you know I have an idea and I forget. So now I'm making a list, so I won't. I always have it. Number one is Sir Patrick Mack. Yes. Sir Patrick Mack is an expert on Q. Some of you know about Q. If you listen to my podcast, my audio podcast, Q and the whole um, kind of civil war that's happening, the kind of, um, what would we call it? The kind of almost secret civil war happening in the United States right now within the United States government and media and society. If you don't know this, you should know this. There is basically a civil war happening right now in America. Now, we are not... the Regular public is not, they're not shooting and killing each other yet, but it, within the government, within uh, media, within companies even, there is definitely a civil war happening. And it may become a full civil war. <laughs> okay, the other one, other suggestion that, which is also excellent, oops, from Ibrahim Ali is Rolo Tomasi who wrote the books, the Rational Male books. He talks about men and uh, how to attract women and kind of red pill about women and men and attraction. Good books. Now, I don't agree with everything he says. I, you know, he's totally focused on just getting women. That's fine. It's a good skill to know. It's good to know the truth about that. But, you know, he... Like, uh, you know, obviously I'm married. I, I think that we, for our civilization, we need also virtue. We need strong marriages and children and all of these things. He doesn't focus on that. That's fine. But uh, but what he does teach is, is useful. Okay, let's see. I saw another. Oh, Robert Kiyosaki, of course. I'll try Robert Kiyosaki. He might be difficult. You know, he gets a lot of big media interviews. I'm not sure if he'll come on to our podcast, but I'll try. Robert Kiyosaki wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which, of course, we did for our book club. So it's a good suggestion. I'd love to interview him. So that's Cher. Cher was suggesting Robert Kiyosaki. Thank you, Cher. Check for this lady for interview, Annette Larkins. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna make a like a people I don't know. I'm gonna put it on a different area in my list so that I can do research. And that's Maxim Petrosov. Is good to see you again. Suggesting her. All right, I will check it out. Thank you, Maxim. Annette Larkin. And Abraham saying, asking, would you do an interview with a business entrepreneur? That's a really good idea. I'm just going to make that as like a note. Okay, business entrepreneurs. And there are lots of them. That's, I'll do it. 
All right, good suggestions. Now, Jordan Peterson, I honestly, I don't like him. So I'm not going to interview him. He is going crazy right now. You know, Jordan Peterson is a little tricky. Be careful with this guy. In the beginning, I thought, oh, this guy seems like he's maybe good, right? He was fighting against the transgender craziness in uh, Canada. But then as I did more research, as I learned more, I read some books kind of that expose him more. I realized that he's actually not so good. Then if you, you have to dig a little deeper and you might you find out that He's got some messages that are not great. So I'm not going to do, and right now he's, you know, he's, he's a drug addict. He's doing drug rehab. So I'm not going to do Jordan Peterson. I know some of you like him, but uh, I'm not going to do him. Okay, Aleman Ali, Tony Robbins. Of course, Tony would be great. He's another one who, of course, gets a lot of big media. I'm not sure he'll do a small podcast, but I'll try, right? There's no harm. There's no problem just trying. Few people are mentioning Tony Robbins. Of course, Tony would be fantastic. Agape also suggesting Tony. Robin Sharma, leader who had no title. Interesting. Sounds like a, maybe a business type person. I'll put that in the people I don't know to research. Robin Sharma. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go back to our social media questions, and I'll answer another one. Keep typing your suggestions for interviews. I'll come back to it. Okay. Okay, now this is a good one. I want to. This is a really good one I want to talk about. Farouk DZ, who's on our videos sometimes too, on Gab says, Hi, guys. How's it going? It's true. When you are not free financially, it's hard to find some free time for yourself. With some changes in my job, I can't find time to listen or read English more than three hours. I try. I keep trying to increase my listening and reading. Thanks to all members who support each other. Okay, now first of all, Farouk, look, three hours is not bad, okay? Three hours a day is not bad at all, okay? It's, it's good. You're doing fine. Now, we're doing the challenge right now. So, a lot of people have increased their hours a lot. A lot of people are doing some very big number of hours every day. Okay, and there's a good chance that after the challenge, those numbers might drop. Maybe not. Some might continue doing huge hours, which is great. But it's hard to do seven hours a day every day for months and months and years and years. Okay, that's hard for most people to do that. That is a lot of time. Okay, and it takes a lot of mental energy and effort. For a short time, three months, four months, you know, it's it's more possible. That's what we're doing now. But then after a while, it's hard to do. And I will say for myself, exactly. The first, let's say the first half of our challenge, the first two months, something like that, I was doing seven to eight hours a day of Japanese. Seven to eight hours. And then I even added some Spanish, okay? So I was doing high number of hours. But more recently, things have happened in my life. My babies went into the hospital for a couple of weeks. My sister and my niece visited me in Japan for a week. Um, the sleep schedule of my babies has changed and now I just can't do it. I can't get that amount. It's too much. I can't do seven hours a day anymore. I'm not doing it. Let's put that, I, maybe I can, but I'm not. Also, the other thing, I, might, I started to get kind of mentally tired. I think you know, I reached some kind of limit in my mind and my mind was saying, ah, too much, too much in seven hours right now. I just can't handle it with Japanese. So I've dropped down. Now I'm averaging two hours a day. Okay. But it's still, that's okay. Two hours is not bad. Two hours, I would say, is probably the minimum. Try to do at least two hours a day with English. But with two hours a day, you still will improve. You still will get good progress. Especially if the quality is good, if you're concentrating, if you're focused. Two hours a day is still fine, and Farouk's doing three hours a day, which is great, okay? So remember, this challenge is to motivate us. It's supposed to be fun, to get extra intensity and power for a while, not to be stressed out. Don't be stressed out, okay? I know we look on that on the challenge. We see some of the top people. They're doing huge numbers of hours every day. I mean, some of them are doing like 10 or 12 hours a day, which 
fantastic. Good for them. Congratulations to them. But all of us can't do it, and that's okay. So don't feel bad. The, the idea is just do more. Do a little more than before. Right? Before, I was doing zero hours of Japanese. Before the challenge, I was doing zero. And now I'm doing, well, even now I'm doing two hours. And before I was doing seven. I'm trying, I want to increase, maybe get up to three or four a day. That's a big improvement from zero. Before I was doing zero hours of Spanish. Now maybe 30 minutes a day is not much, but it's better than zero. Okay, so remember, don't get stressed about it. Do your best. We do the best we can. It's the first rule of our code. We do the best we can. Good to see Mehdi is on. Mehdi is one of our great members in Iran who is now over on Gab. He was very active on Twitter. He's come over to Gab now. I'm very happy to see him on Gab. Wonderful guy. He's just so supportive and so helpful to other members. I just want to give a shout out. We say a shout out, kind of like just saying hi, congratulations, whatever. But because Mehdi is just wonderful. And, you know, so many of our members. Carol's also over here now. Ibrahim Ali. Lisa. You know, these, Julia Tequita. You know, these are members who are just so helpful to other members. That's what I appreciate so much. They're so helpful to other members. Uh, Muchtaba, good to see you as well. Muchtaba has a cute picture of a cat reading my book. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our interviews now. Interview suggestions. Uh, Robert Greenfield, Elvira is suggesting Robert Greenfield for simplifying lifestyle. Good topic. I like it. I'm going, I don't know him, but I'll research him. It sounds great. Robin Green fits our book club even right now. I'm going to put, you know, simple lifestyle. Thank you, Elvira. All right, let's see what other suggestions we have. Donald Trump. Donald Trump's busy. I don't think Donald Trump's going to come on my show. <laughs> oh, Ollie Richards. I know Ollie Richards. I know of him. Yes, good suggestion. I'll put him with the language learning people. Uh, Ollie Richards is uh, another polyglot, another guy who speaks several languages. I'm use Actually, I have Ollie's... Uh, he has these nice uh, conversation, not not really, they're not lessons, but they're conversations with translations. He has them, I'm using them in Japanese right now. Very nice. Ali Richards. So Ali, he's a good guy. I like his stuff. Yes. That's Paolo Eduardo was suggesting Ali. So good idea. I think he's British. But it's okay. May I suggest an episode about marriage, Muhammad Ibrahim? All right, I'll make a separate, another area on my list for topic suggestions. You can suggest topics. Okay, so topic, topics, marriage. Yeah, I can talk about that. I'm married. I've been married a while. Happily married. Bill Gates. <laughs> okay, so, so, so you know, again, my podcast is fairly small. I mean, it's it's big for a podcast. It's it's a it's it's a fairly big podcast, but you know, compared to television and big media, so a lot of people who are very famous, people who get who go on to television shows and things, they often will not do smaller podcasts. But you know, it's not a bad suggestion. So Cher is saying Bill Gates. And Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg's an evil bastard, so I will not interview him. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Bill Gates is not a bad idea, but I think he's, uh, again, probably not. I mean, you know, these are other big people. Christopher Nolan and Quentin Tarantino. These are movie directors from Skipti Media. I like, especially Christopher Nolan, I really like his stuff. Quentin Tarantino, I'm a big fan of Kill Bill, the Kill Bill movies. I like those. Christopher Nolan has done a lot of interesting movies, the Batman movies, the old ones with uh, Christian Bale, which are the best ones, I think. He did, uh, what is it, Interstellar. He did um, what the one about the, the memory, the dreams. 
he's an interesting guy. Interesting movies. He's a really good director. It's good, interesting. Ah, AJ, I saw a semi-mini series in Netflix, The Cathedral of the Sea. You may like to practice your Spanish. Oh, thank you, L-E-G. I'm going to write that down. That's just for me. <laughs> All right, Spanish. Yeah, if you guys know good Spanish material or good Japanese material, I'm happy to hear that, your suggestions. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, so Spanish, it's it's interesting name. Cathedral of the Sea, and it's Netflix. Thank you. I'll check it out. I like that historical stuff. I'm really, I like history. So I really like uh, any kind of audios or videos or things that are focused on history. You know, that that's good for me. It's Japanese history for Jap, like the samurai stuff. I love it. And uh, also, like, you know, Spanish history, the conquistadors, I don't know, early Mexican history, anything. Okay, I see it's Dan Graziosi and Dan Holloway. Interesting. When you guys give suggestions, please tell me something about them. Like, what is the topic? But anyway, I'm going to write their, na their names down. Dean, I don't know these guys. Graziosi, sounds Italian. And Dan Holloway. Thank you, Kezang Dorji. Good suggestion. I'll check them out. Brian Tracy, Ibrahim Ali, very good. I know, of course, I know Brian Tracy. Yeah, I bet I might be able to get him. Brian Tracy has got good stuff about motivation, leadership, public speaking. Do an interview with Speak English with Vanessa. All right. I'll write it down. Speak English with Van Vanessa. All right. Thank you. That is a suggestion from Alaman Ali again. Thank you. Oh, Paolo's asking about the email for the business course. I know. I'm everything so. I've really been. I'm behind. I'm sorry, Paolo. It's coming. It is coming. I promise it's coming. <laughs> Okay, now this is a, I'll just answer this question because it's it's a common question. How much time does it take to speak any language fluently? Although I am mastering English. This is from uh, Suryanch. Okay, well, it's hard to answer because it depends on the language. Like how close is the language to your language or to a language you know well? So as you master English, the good news is that other languages that are similar to English will now be easier for you. That means, uh, you know, a lot of, especially Western European languages will now be easier for you because you'll notice a lot of vocab is more similar. So, Suryant, you could learn Spanish more easily now. You can learn Italian, French, Portuguese, German, I don't know, Dutch. Certainly all of those would be uh, significantly easier for you because they're fairly close to English. And so, uh, like for me, Spanish is much easier for me than Japanese. Jap there's Japanese, the vocab is really hard to remember because it's not connected to English at all. So it's, I just, uh, it comes in and I forget. It comes in and I forget. With Spanish, if I see a new word, Many times it's there's it's similar to an English word, not the same, but it's similar, like the similar root, you know, from Latin or something. So I can boom, I can remember it very fast, right? Because it's it's an e easy connection in my mind. But with a Japanese word, I just like it's no connection to English at all, and it'll kind of be there, and then I just boom, it's gone. <laughs> and then I try to remember it again, and then it's gone again. And so I need so many repetitions for the Japanese words compared to the Spanish. So that's why it's a hard to answer, Suryansh. The other thing is the writing system, right? Is it a, you know, English. So any language that uses the Latin letters, the Roman letters, will be easier for you now. But learning something like Chinese or Japanese or even something like Thai or Arabic is going to be more difficult because you have a whole new writing system to learn. 
So, you know, all of these issues. And then there's even the grammar and the sentence structure, right? So if does, does the grammar kind of similar? Like Spanish grammar is similar to English. It's not the same, but it's similar. It's fairly close. It's pretty easy for me. But Japanese, the word order is totally different. For me, this is actually the most difficult thing about Japanese right now for me, uh, is that the word order, I get so confused because if it's for a short sentence, no problem. But for a long sentence, I get totally confused. It's hard for me to figure out what does this sentence mean uh, because all the words are in different orders and everything, and it's quite confusing. So how long? The second part of this question is that a lot of people will use, will measure time to learn a language or to do something, any skill, they'll measure in days or months or years. But that's actually a big mistake because th that's, that's not accurate. We should measure in hours. How many hours do we need? How many hours of practice? I would say Japanese. I'm just guessing, but I will need probably 5,000 hours to be a decent speaker and to really master at a very high level, probably 10,000 hours. Guessing. Something like that. For Spanish, maybe half of that or maybe one third. I think I could probably be a decent Spanish speaker with 2,000 hours and maybe 2,500. So about half the time, maybe even less. And probably a very good Spanish speaker with something like 4,000 hours. Right. So it's a big difference. So that's why I like that app, this little app. It's a cell phone app called 10,000 Plus. And you just count hours. And what I do, I have my cell phone is every time I do, I have I have one for one list for Spanish and one for Japanese now. And I'm just tracking my hours. Right now I have 462 hours of Japanese. On one hand, that's really nice. It's better than zero. But on the other hand, it's very far from 5,000. <laughs> so it's okay. Just I just keep trying to do more hours. So I recommend that app. So you can track your hours of English, you know, even after our challenge. Just keep doing it and just try to get, try to just make a goal for yourself. 1,000 hours or 5,000 hours or 2,000 hours and then just keep adding, adding, adding. And then don't stress about your performance. Okay, let's keep going with our suggestions. Oprah Winfrey, uh, Sriracha. Another really big name. I kind of prefer people who are not so famous. Two reasons. One, it's hard to get them on my show because they're so busy and they get a lot of media. But the second reason is that everybody knows them already. Like you can find interviews with Oprah Winfrey on YouTube, lots of them. So I like to find people maybe you don't know, they're not as famous, but they're very interesting. So that I bring you kind of new, interesting ideas, but they're. Uh, it's kind of, I, for me, it's more interesting too, talking to people that are less known. Many times they're more interesting. They have cool, creative ideas. Thanks, Maxim. I will definitely check out the web, uh, her website. What do you think of Na Na Narendra Modi PM from India? I don't know a lot about him, so I, I can't really comment on other country's leaders, you know, it's, I don't know enough about the politics to say. Ah, okay, there's a guy who wrote a book called Ultra Learning by Scott Young. Sounds interesting. I'll enter his name. Scott Young, Ultra Learning. Nice, sounds perfect. Added to the list. Thank you, Paolo. Well, this is, okay, this is fascinating. This kind of thing I think sounds cool. Eric von Daniken about extraterrestrials, aliens. Yeah, cool, man. Why not? It sounds really interesting. Eric von Daniken. Don. Daniken. All right. So aliens, basically. Cool. Ah, oh, let me go back because someone had a question about being fired, and I want to, I want to go back to the beginning, and I, I promise to answer the question. Lena, hmm. 
Let's see if I can find Lena's question here. Yeah, okay, Lena says, I was fired from my work yesterday. I need your advice for interviews. Okay, Lena, good. Good. First of all, I know it, it sucks. Um, it's stressful. Don't worry about it. Look, okay? People get fired sometimes. So, you know, deep breath. And now you just got to, you know, it's a good opportunity. I would say my business English course will be very helpful to you. Very. There's some books by Martin Yate. Y-A-T-E. Look it up. Martin. M-A-R-T-I-N. Martin Yate. Y-A-T-E. Where he talks about specific interview questions and how to answer them. He also has a book about resumes, I think, that's pretty good. Watch my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel, AJ Hoag, and you'll know on there's a playlist at the bottom for public speaking and job interviews. Watch all of those videos. You'll get some ideas how to deal with nervousness. So those are my main suggestions. My business English course is all about job interviews, job searching, career. It'll help you a lot. That's EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Martin Yates' books are good, very good, and my YouTube channel. So these are free videos about job interviewing and public speaking, which will help with the nervousness. So good luck to you, Lena. Let us know how you're doing. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. Ah, I know this guy. Yeah, he's quite inspiring. Nick Vujicic. All right, I'm going to put it. Nick Vu, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Vuji, I think he's Australian, but obviously, <laughs> I don't know, some Eastern European name. Uh, this is from Spomenka. Good suggestion. Oh, AJ, what time do you do our plan to do our movie club and book club? Lisa. Ah, good point, Lisa. I'll try to do it at the regular time, which will be night here. I have to talk to my wife about that, make sure she can handle the babies for a little bit. But I'd like to keep doing it at the same time, just to be fair, to be consistent. So I'll let you know soon. It's Wednesday. I'll let you know in the next two days. And Zhao, I will definitely interview minimalists. It's a good idea. Rob Dial is a motivational speaker. All right. Thank you, Lena. Rob D A I L. Rob D D Dale Dial. Oh, Dean is an entrepreneur. Dan Holloway is online business. Perfect, Kazong. Thank you. Yes, those are great topics. I like it. Maybe Amanda from Hi Amanda is a good option. She is from Brazil and an English teacher. Okay, why not? Amanda Coach. Amanda. All right. Amanda. All right. <laughs> Do interviews with me. <laughs> All right, let's go back to... Uh, Really quickly. Oh, I just just one guy, Vivek Bindra. All right, let me know. I don't know what he does, but I'll check him out. Vivek Bindra. Okay. Coach, is your what today is your meeting with Steve Kaufman? Yes, Paulika, correct. I'm meeting having dinner with Steve Kaufman and his son Mark Kaufman in a few hours. Going to go to his hotel and we'll go to dinner. I'm not sure what maybe he I think he does videos. He's got like a little cell phone or something. He does some videos. Maybe we'll do one. If not, I'll interview him when he goes home. I think he's going home soon. Ah, Jal's recommending Fight Club for it's one of my favorite movies. So, Jal would we'll, we'll, we'll probably do it. It's a I, I do like it. All right, let's go back to Gab really quickly, and then 
Yep. Gab, gab, gab. You can see my list on the screen. Let's get into our group this time, our gab group, where we got lots of people. So what you can do, this is see, you can see Maj, M A J Day, M A J D ninety two Majd from Jordan. I'm twenty seven. You just introduce yourself, join the Gab, follow me, and then you can join the Gab group also and introduce yourself. I'm new on Gab. I created this account to follow AJ. I'll start sharing with you. I'm listening to English tomorrow. You can consider. So great. Thanks for the introduction and welcome. Very nice. Lots of people sharing YouTube videos they're watching in English. Uh, their list, Farouk's got a nice list of things listening to and reading. So a lot of good ideas, guys. I'll answer this question. <laughs> this is on our Gab group. Jack Rosa uh, so saying, what's the difference between pictures and photos? The vocab. What's the difference in meaning? And then gives an example. So this is from something that they're reading. Uh, I listen, let's see, I had hundreds of pictures and photos of him on my wall. And so they saw this sentence and they said, well, what's the difference? They're not the same. They're not exactly the same. A picture is more, picture, the word picture is more general. It just means any visual um, representation, okay? Anything visual. So a picture might be a drawing. It could be a drawing. Right? Someone could draw a picture. It could be a painting. Or it could also be a photo. So picture is a very is more general. It can it could be all of those things. A photo is specifically from a camera. So that's the difference between those two words. Picture is just more general. Ah, Lisa says, Nick Vujicic is more, very motivational and very funny. I met him in Hungary. I think this is the right guy. Is this the guy that doesn't have, he has no arms and no legs, and he's a motivational speaker? I have seen his video, some of his videos. He is very funny, and he is very motivational. Platforma 23, Rolo Tomasi is on my list already. Yes, indeed. All right, I'll answer a few general questions now, and then it's time to go. I've got to actually do a few things. I'm a little busy today. I've got a few things I need to do before I meet Steve Kaufman today. So let me just do a f check out your questions and comments, very general ones. Anything about English is fine. Uh, Inception. Inception is the name of the movie I was think trying to think of before, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, that's a good one to add to our movie list. I like it. Oh, Jay Shetty is a motivational speaker. All right, I'll check. Thank you, Lena. Another good suggestion. Jay. So this gives me a lot of suggestions now. I've got a lot. Thank you. So just now I'll read you the new list. Tim Larkin, Bill Kipp, that's self-defense. Jim Quick, learning and memory. Sir Patrick Mack, Q, the American Civil War, Second Civil War, happening now. Rolo Tomasi, um, attraction. Uh, men attracting women, especially. Robert Kiyosaki and Tony Robbins. Robert Kiyosaki's money. Tony Robbins, motivational, you know. Ali Richards speaks many languages, language learning. Brian Tracy, uh, leadership, motivation. Nick Vujicic is also motivation. And then I've got some other folks. Let's see. Robin Greenfield, simple lifestyle. S Speak English with Vanessa, obviously English. Scott Young, ultra learning. Eric Von Daniken is, uh, you know, aliens, etc. Aliens and extraterrestrials. Jay Shetty is motivational. Motivational. Good. And then a few others that I'm not. Uh, Dean Graziosi and Dan Holloway, entrepreneurs, online, learn, uh, online. Robin Sharma. Rob Dial Vivek Bindra.
Oh, right. Uh, Daria, who's the name? I need the name for this. But AJ, let me convey the uh, interview a man who is a father of six. His children are homeschoolers. He teaches them English in the approach close to you. His English is perfect. Daria, I just need his name. And I'd love to interview homeschoolers. You know, I interviewed one homeschooler already, the mom that I interviewed maybe two months ago. This sounds perfect, Daria. I would be happy to interview him. Oh, Seth Godin. Good, good suggestion. Seth Godin does internet marketing and business. Seth Godin. Good suggestion. I like his books. David, good to see you in Brazil. It's 2 a.m. in Brazil. I know it's late. Sorry, Brazilians. Try to do a, a better time for you guys. Another motivational speaker, Sandeep Maheshwari. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that name. Sandeep Maheshwari. All right, on the list. Thank you, Bafendra. I'll take a photo, a photo with Steve and post on Instagram, says Paolo. Okay, I will. Thanks for reminding me. I'm really terrible about taking photos. I never do it. But I'll... Good suggestion. Okay, now, Zhao, here's just a general question from Zhao. What do you think about reading a book in my native language before reading it in English? It's a great idea. It's a, I do it it's also. Like, for example, with Spanish, I read Steve Kaufman's book, The Linguist. I read it in English first. Then I read it in Spanish and listened to it, the audiobook, in Spanish. And I've done that with a f several books in Spanish. The Alchemist, I did that. Of course, I read it in, in English first. Uh, there's a Brian Tracy book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So I've read all of those in Spanish, but I read them in English first. So it's, it's a good idea. You can read it in your own language. You get Then you, you know what the book's about. You have all the main topics. So it makes it a little easier to understand when you do it in English. So yes, anything that helps you understand better is a good idea. You can also do this with movies. You can... Watch the movie first. First, watch it with subtitles in your own language. Just watch the whole movie. So now you get the, the general, you know all the characters, you know the story and everything. Then go back, turn the English subtitle, I mean, turn off your language subtitles and only use the English subtitles. I do this with Japanese anime. I watch the anime first with English subtitles to get the so then I know the whole story then I go back and I watch it I turn off the English and then I watch it just Japanese and try to you know get some of the vocab so yeah you can do that for sure it's a good idea Zhao perfectly fine oh lots of motivational speakers you're suggesting okay here's another one I'm gonna write it down Sean Buranahiran. Thanks, Klitsada, for the suggestion. Add it to the list. Oh, okay. Daria says, I'll send links to his videos and contacts at Gab. Thank you, Daria. I'd actually like to interview him soon. That's a topic I, I really love. I would love to interview him soon. Okay, Bezod says, AJ, I'm grateful because my listening to your podcast, I don't only learn the language, but also I learn life. You're also my motivation. Last year, I took the IELTS score with 7.0 score. Thank you. Another suggestion from Man Buratoki, Guru, Dr. Guru, Vikasanan. Let me write him down. Okay. Uh, Vikasanand. Guru. All right. Sounds good. He is a spirit, famous spiritual person in Nepal. Yes. Great. If you have all, any of you making suggestions, if you can send me links on Gab, it's helpful. Send me a link to their website or their YouTube channel or something from them. It makes it a little easier for me to research them. The Witcher, Paulica. Yes, I know. Uh, why am I wearing... Salman wants to know, why are you wearing the Japan National Team t-shirt? I live in Japan. 
So I kind of support the Japan national team. Tofik says, hello from Ethiopia. Well, thank you very much. Hello to you. Thanks for all your support. Making language life easy and happy. You are welcome, Tofik. Thank you. You can interview AJ Hogue. Mm -hmm. Sandeep Ma Maheswari, another suggestion for him. He's on my list, so I will check him out. Thank you, Subanesh. Mark Manson, the author. Ah, oh, yeah, I know him, actually. Mark Manson. Okay, thank you. We've got a huge list now. This is great, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, hello. Someone saying hello from Bali. Nyoman, I have a good friend that lives in Bali. American. I'm going to go back to the beginning, answer a few more questions, and then time for me to go. i got to uh, do a few things. i got to... Yeah, it's late night for the Brazilians. All of South America and North America. It's late right now. Max from Peru was up late also. <laughs> Almost midnight in Chicago, says Ellie. Yep, it's late. I know. In the Americas, it's quite late and it's very early over in Europe and uh, West Asia. Ania, just saying a nice comment. Uh, you're excellent in what you do. He aprendido mucho con tus videos. Uh, Nice. I learn a lot with your videos. That's nice. Thank you. Skepti says, I owe a big thanks to you since long ago. I got fluency in English from your audios in 2011. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I appreciate anyone sharing your their success stories. And congratulations to you for doing all that hard work. Good for you. Ah, and Jin Shui Chinese says, I've benefited by your channel before I became Effortless English VIP member, now making a tremendous improvement through your VIP and pronunciation courses. Thank you very much. Jin Shui, thank you and congratulations to you. Keep going. You're doing great. Isabella is in Glasgow, Scotland, saying hi from Scotland. Scotland, that's actually where my family comes from long ago. Not, not recently, but my family's history. Uh, let me think, uh, you know, like a thousand years old, something like that. My family started, well, they really started in northern France, Normandy, which means they started in Norway. <laughs> but we know the family history we have about a thousand years of family history that we know, so the names and everybody, uh, and that's in Scotland, starting in Scotland. So my, the Hogue family comes from Scotland. I'd like to visit Scotland, actually. I'd like it. So I want to take my children to Scotland sometime and we can go to the, the areas where, you know, our family came from. Of course, they came to eventually... Someone from that family came, they went from Scotland, they went to America. And my family actually is quite old in, in the United States from before the revolution. But anyway, before they originally came from Scotland, they came over to America very early, the American colonies. And I would like to go to Scotland for that reason. Okay, we got another one about, oh, the topic of creativity is a nice idea. Subanesh with another nice topic. All right. Uh, whoops. I'm sorry. That was the wrong comment. Where is it? It's Ricardo. 
Angulo says, uh, I suggest an interview with Ed Catmull, author of Creativity Incorporated. I'm guessing it's about creativity. Good. That would be a great topic. Uh, creativity. Ed Catmull, another suggestion. Thank you. Milena says, hi from Sicily. It's very early here. Have a nice day. It's difficult to think in English. Can you give me advice? Well, Milena, you just have to keep listening, listening, like a lot of hours of listening. And that's how you do it. And then the phrases will start to, the words and the phrases will get a little deeper in your mind. And some of them will become automatic. So you don't need to think. And then more and more and more become automatic. It's a, it's a gradual process. <laughs> Nasser, shh. I'm not going to read your comment because I'm afraid <laughs> what will happen. Nasser says, no, it's quiet. No baby's crying. Ah, yes, Lisa. Movie Club Suggestion. Captain Fantastic. I agree. It's a fantastic movie. It's actually one of the few recent movies that I have liked. I don't like many recent movies anymore, but that's a nice one. Oh, Jose Hernandez is an astronaut. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool suggestion for an interview. An astronaut. Jose... Hernandez. Astronaut. Ah, Evgeny says uh, it's uh, okay. In Eastern Europe, is just before work. So it's a good time for Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, that kind of area. And um, I'm guessing at least maybe it's not too early. I have to check again. <laughs> Salman saying I should wear the national team uh, shirts for Saudi and Nigeria. <laughs> you guys can send me national team shirts. <laughs> I wear medium. <laughs> if you send me the shirt, I'll wear it. How about that? <laughs> it's hard for me to find all those national team shirts. All right. But if you send me a shirt, I'll do. I'll wear it. Ah, Valikas just saying, I wish you a good time with Steve. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm very looking for This is the first time for me to meet him face to face. I've talked to him many times, but first time meeting him. Oh, okay. Now, Kez, Kezang Dorji is talking kind of about speed reading, which is interesting. Is it possible to read five sentences at once by advanced readers? I saw this on YouTube. How is it possible? I don't know. I don't know if they're really reading them all at the same time or they're just it's so fast it seems like they're reading at the same time right they're kind of taking a picture with their mind boom 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 but i don't know about that specifically gizong kizong but you will you can read faster in fact you can train yourself to read faster really you just do it the simplest thing is just read a lot okay the more you read you will naturally read faster. You just get faster. Especially in topics you know well. So, for example, I have read many, 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 many business books. So many. <laughs> so now, if I read a business book, I can read it, bam, really, really fast. Why? Because probably any new business book for me, I already know 80% of the ideas maybe usually more because honestly many of them are not very creative most of them just say the same thing again and again so a lot of them it's like 99 percent right so i can just zoom i just go fast really fast because i read like the first sentence in a paragraph and which gives you the topic of the paragraph usually and if it's something i already know then the rest of the paragraph i just very fast. I just scan it. Just read it super fast, not deeply. Just looking for new information. So I'm not reading word by word. I'm scanning, right? I'm looking for new information. And if I find a paragraph or a page or a section that is something interesting or new, then I slow down 
and I'll read it carefully. Okay, now this is in my own language. Don't do this with a language you're learning. If you're learning a language, you want that repetition. You want, it's okay. You want to go a little more slowly because you're trying to learn the vocab and the sentences. So that's speed in English reading. You need a little speed, right? If you're too slow, it's frustrating. So I have this problem in Japanese. My Japanese reading is so slow that it's, it's really no fun. It's kind of like torture. <laughs> right but uh but let's say spanish i'm not trying to read fast okay i don't care about speed but english where i'm just trying to get information especially non-fiction books i will read very 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 fast right i'm looking for useful information if it's something that's just the same then i go very fast and so that's kind of a lot of people who read fast. They, they learn these little tricks, reading the first paragraph, the first sentence in a paragraph, and maybe reading the last sentence in a paragraph. Read those two sentences more carefully. They give you most of the information. And then the stuff in the middle, you just, you just scan it. You read it very fast. Now, with all that said, honestly, I, like I never had a goal to read fast. It's not something I try to do. I just do it naturally. But it's, it's not something I'm trying to do. I don't, I don't know. For me, there, there's no point in trying to read faster. I, you know, if once you have a generally decent level, you know, you, it's good enough. Eh, don't worry about your speed, right? You're reading for information. Or maybe if you're reading stories, you're reading for enjoyment. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Okay, almost time to go here. Chandan from one of my favorite countries in the world, Nepal, says, I've been listening to your audios for two hours, well, for two months. How many audios should I listen? Well, just listen for about two or more hours a day, Chandan, and you know, repeat them as much as you can. When you get really bored, then get a new audio and do it again. That's, you know, there's no... There's not a tight rule about this, a strict rule. Just follow your motivation. Uh, Evgeny says it's 8.30 in Bulgaria now. That is a nice time. I missed your snake diet t-shirt. I'll wear it again, Ibrahim. Have you ever been... Uh, asking about my travels. Sri Strim says, Have you ever been in Kerala, India? I have not, but I want to. I have been to northern India three times. I've been in Rajasthan, Gujarat, all around Delhi and Bombay, Mumbai. Uh, I've been up in the mountains. I've been to Varanasi. I've been to Calcutta, uh, Kolkata. But so kind of a good amount in the north I've traveled, but I have never been to uh, South India. And I've heard many people say Kerala in the south of India is beautiful, that it's a great place. A lot of people recommend traveling there. So I, it's kind of, you know, it's definitely on, in my mind that I want to visit Kerala in India. And really, in, I want to visit South India in general. <laughs> Victor's asking, I'll just answer, why not? These are fun questions. Uh, would you like to summit Mount Everest? No. Not interested. I've seen too many movies where people die <laughs> trying to climb. I'm not a, I don't like high places, first of all. So I'm not a mountain climber. I don't like it. Now, I like hiking in the mountains, you know, up in the mountain, not climbing super tall mountains. I like hiking around in the mountains. It's very beautiful. But like, you know, climbing some giant mountain and possibly dying, not really interested. No. It might be interesting, though, however, there are some hikes to the bottom of Mount Everest you can do in Nepal. Some of them are fairly long, like a couple of weeks, where you start, I don't know, I don't know where you start, but you start somewhere, and then you're just walking through. It's still quite tall mountains, and you get to the bottom of Mount Everest, and then you stop, right? And then the serious climbers go to the top, of course. So I'm not interested in going to the top, but I would like to hike in the mountains. The, the Himalayan mountains, the mountains in Nepal are beautiful. I have... I've done a hike, I've done a couple hikes in Nepal, and it's amazing. The scenery is 
apps. It's just hard to understand those mountains. They're so big. And the, even the, we call the foothills, the smaller mountains, right, with no snow, are still incredibly beautiful. And then you see the tall, big ones with the snow. It's, it's amazing. Those of you who live in the, near the Alps or something, you maybe understand that. Or in America, the Rocky Mountains or the Andes, you know, these very tall mountain ranges are quite amazing. Ah, okay, now Catherine with a nice question. Josaran says, I have started your VIP program. I try to mix a lot of audio material, series, radio, and of course your lessons. Rather than listening just your lessons, what do you think about this? That's totally fine. That's good. Especially if you're a little higher level. If you're more towards a low intermediate or beginner even, then maybe just the lessons is enough. But when you start getting a little more advanced, a little higher level, like Catherine, then you start, you do the lesson still, but then you also add in a lot of other stuff as you like. You can read books, you can do series, you can do radio, podcasts, anything you want in English. So Catherine, that's totally fine. I recommend it. In fact, it's very good. And Subhanesh is just asking, have you ever been to India? Three times. I travel. I have been to India three times. Have I been in Nepal? Yes. Nirat, I have been in Nepal two times. Will you visit Pakistan? Maybe. <laughs> Everal Gupta says, please come to our school and become our English teacher. <laughs> oh, just learn from me online. You don't need me to come to your school. Just use my audios and my shows. You're, you can do it. That's the good, the great thing about the internet now, right? All right, guys. I think it's time to go. I got to go do some work, and then I got to go meet Steve Kaufman. So, and Mark Kaufman, his son. Lots of love to all of you. Mwah. Thank you for the suggestions. I now am looking on my computer at a very big list of people to contact for interviews. A huge list. A big, long list. And 90% are from you. I really appreciate this. It, it's very nice because now I have a huge number of ideas, interesting people to try to interview. If you think of someone else, you have another idea for my for me interviewing or just topics to talk about, please just contact me on gab, gab.com. Up here on if you're watching on video, I'm pointing to it. Gab.com, AJ Hogue. Follow me there and just send me, you know, send me their name. Also, you know, if you can send me a link to a video from them or their website or even their social media, just something so I can learn about them a little more. And, well, now we have so many cool, interesting people. So I like to talk to interesting people. I think the interviews are quite fun. They're fun for me, and they're good for you. You hear other English speakers. You can hear a variety of accents. Different speakers use different vocab. You know, I have my own favorite vocab that you're used to. So we get a different speaker, and they'll use... They'll just naturally use some different words that I don't use so much. So all of these are good, and we can learn some interesting ideas. So lots of love to you. Mwah. Again, go to gab.com and follow me there. And as always, commit to my VIP program, EffortlessEnglishClub.com, at EffortlessEnglishClub.com. Have a great day.